it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and usually I'm here with tips and tricks on how to save time with Excel spreadsheet templates. Um, but today I'm going to dive into one of the free resources I have for HR. So I have a few different free resources for small business, for rental property management, and then also HR and compensation, which is my corporate background. And there is a free compensation metrics cheat sheet that you can download. And this goes over different metrics such as compa ratio, market index, um, different metrics that are used in looking at salary ranges. But today I want to dive into the compa ratio and go over um, an example of not just how you calculate it, but what it means and and how we can use it to analyze different salary increase requests. So I have two templates that actually use this formula for the compa ratio. One of them is a salary increase template where there's you can identify people who are getting promotions either from hourly to salaried, a salaried to salaried promotion or hourly to hourly promotion. So they're going to a new position, they're getting a promotion, and then there's different metrics to look at. And one of those metrics is compa ratio. And you'll see if you double click, it's going to be the, uh, the new salary divided by the new band median or also called the band midpoint. So I also use this formula in the merit increase template. And this really has a lot of capability beyond just the compa ratio and it comes with directions and everything of how to use this because there's really a lot of different formulas in here. Uh, but you'll see this is for a company that is, you know, having an annual merit increase program for all their employees at once. Um, they're not changing positions, it's just a general increase. And so we're looking at the current compa ratio would be their current salary divided by the band midpoint again. And then um, we're also looking at the new compa ratio. So if they get a merit increase, then how does that compare? How does the new salary divided by the same salary band midpoint compare as far as increasing that? So I thought I'd go over this in a separate page so that we're not distracted by all the other columns and formulas. So basically, if you're looking to calculate the compa ratio, you just need two numbers. You need the base salary and the salary band midpoint. So this is for companies that have a midpoint. So if you have salary ranges or salary grades, um, it's just different ways to slot um, similar jobs into the right grade or right level, and then you're having a minimum, a midpoint, and a max per grade. So that compa ratio is only going to be looking at the midpoint. It doesn't look at the minimum or the maximum of the range. You'll need different formulas to identify people who are above and below the min and max. So compa ratio, we're just going to do equal sign and the base salary divided by the midpoint. Super simple, right? So you can display this as a percentage. You can also display it as a ratio. Then it would be a 1.17. So with this example, you know, the midpoint 30,000 for all three of these and 35,000, they're obviously above the midpoint. So it's going to be over 100% compa ratio. So we got 117. And then if I just drag this formula down, You'll see the next one, just for the example, 100% compa ratio means they're right at the midpoint. So that would be what many companies considered, consider at market. So they want the midpoint to be like the, the market of what, you know, the company would pay for someone that's doing well in the position and everything. And then another example of someone below the midpoint, 10,000 below, they're at 67% compa ratio. So that would probably end up being, you know, below market or people would consider that compa ratio is below market depending on um, how things are classified. So that is pretty much the compa ratio. There are other metrics to look at. And again, you can grab that free cheat sheet that goes over the different salary increase and salary range metrics. 
You can get that at timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources. So it's a P three page PDF that goes over some different examples and how to use that formula. So I hope that helps. And uh, until next time, don't forget that I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using your Excel worksheets. Thanks.